Hello and welcome. In this video we are going to take a look at how to export data to a CSV file from Excel. Typically a CSV file will use a comma to separate the values. However you might have a requirement to separate the values using a different character or a symbol or a special character. Uh, so for example you might want to separate the values with a pipe instead of a comma in which case we're going to take a look at how to go about doing that in this video so let's load up the uh, the Excel document in this document I've got some sample values here nothing too fancy it'll do for the sake of uh, this demo though so let's click file save as select where you want to save the file and, and I want you to select from the drop down CSV so comma delimited file and click save click yes Excel is just going to warn you that you'll lose any formatting options that's no big deal we're just dealing with plain text anyway close Excel let's have a look at the CSV file we're going to open it in a text editor in this instance we're going to use notepad plus plus which is a incidentally a great text editor as you can see the values have been separated using a comma so if you have a requirement to separate your CSV file with something else instead of a comma you might for example want to separate it using a, a pipe I actually personally find a pipe more useful than a comma because occasionally let's say you have some data that has text it's not uncommon to have commas in the data so obviously if you're separating the files with a comma that can sometimes run into issues so I generally personally prefer to use a pipe there probably are more elegant ways to do this however in this video we're specifically looking at how to go about exporting the data from Excel so let's take a look at how we might do that. Unfortunately, Excel doesn't give you an easy way to achieve this. So I'm going to show you a way that is, is kind of a workaround. So let's take a look. Let's close this file down. In fact, let's delete that CSV file. We no longer require it for the purpose of this demo. So I want you to click on Start. Then I want you to type Region. Then I want you to click on Region Settings then I want you to click on additional date time and regional settings in the top right hand corner then click on change date time on number formats as you can see this is pretty well hidden then click on additional settings and then here as you can see we have something called a list separator go ahead and change that to something else I'm going to change it to a pipe and then click apply and OK and then click OK again now I'm going to recommend just minimizing this window because you're going to want to come back to this once you're finished then load your Excel document again I want you to repeat the exact same process so click file save as choose a location select from the drop down CSV then click save say yes close that document so hopefully if we right click our CSV file open it in the text editor notepad plus plus will do fine and as you can see the data has been exported but instead of using a comma we're actually using a pipe now once you're finished exporting I'm gonna go ahead and recommend that you change the setting back because these are regional settings for the computer uh, not just Excel and so you can run into issues if you leave things like this it can just catch you off guard nothing nothing terrible is going to happen but for example in Excel if you're writing an if statement it now means that the commas have been replaced with pipes so things can get pretty confusing so my recommendation is to go back in here additional settings change it back to what it was once you've exported your data click OK click OK close this down let's delete the pipe CSV file 
let's open our Excel document let's just make sure everything's back to normal file save as select a location select CSV and save click yes and close the document down let's open the CSV file again and as you can see we've gone back to commas I actually have had a requirement to do this in the past so if that helps anyone else out that's fantastic if you enjoyed the video I'd appreciate you if you could click the like button and if you want to see similar content to this in the future why not go ahead and subscribe and until next time take care